At the Class 3 ranks, we had a rematch from the 2018 title game, Heritage taking on Phoebus. The Phantoms have been nearly untouchable this season, but the same was true for Brad Bradley's Pioneers, trying to do what they did four years ago. In fact, Bradley and his crew were ready to rumble in the Hill City, but it was a tough task early. Jasir Bateman is going to find Marcus White for the first down. Pioneers into the red zone, but on fourth and goal right here, Bateman's pass incomplete through the back of the end zone. Fourth and goal there came up short. Phantoms, Jaden Early, he went to work in place of Nolan James. Throws two deep touchdown passes, both of them to pick commit Jordan Bass. This one's 75 yards, 14-0 Phoebus leading. Far from done. Early to Xavion Rogers, 16-yard strike, 27-0. Phantoms rolling. We're still in the first half after a fumble. Tyrion Taylor joins the party. 34-0 at halftime. Phantoms leading this one. Second half after a Phoebus fumble. Jasir Bateman from one yard out. It's 34-7, but the damage was already done. Early finished with 236 passing yards. Taylor had 100 yards rushing. Phoebus wins back-to-back -back titles with a 48-7 victory. They're going to learn in life, you know, there, there's all times of bumps. There's all times of um, roadblocks, but these kids got nothing to be ashamed of. I love them, and it, it, you know, got 15 seniors, man. They're good kids. And uh, we are a tight knit group. We, we fought, and we can go to bed tonight knowing we did everything possible to try to win this game. Special group of young men. I mean, we all believe in one another. Um, you know, Jaden Early is a system kid. He's been playing since eighth grade. You know, he's a dynamic athlete um, and dynamic player, you know. So when he when Nolan went down, man, it was no doubt that, that he would be able to take over that torch and continue to carry it on and, and do what we've been doing all year.